today is Monday the 13th of February and you're still behind and that's okay. We're here at uh, Tokyo Sushi in Kokomo and they have the best food in town right here, Tokyo Sushi. Which it's my favorite today. Okay, a couple things happened this week. There's a few deadlines. So deadlines are Thursday is Dean's List. So mentors, get your Dean's List student nominations in by Thursday. I think also that's the Entrepreneurship Award info has to be in by Thursday. I think that's true. Probably more importantly is for anybody out there that has a significant other, tomorrow is Valentine's Day. So don't forget your sweetie, get something for your Valentine's Day. A Contest. great gift for your uh, sweetheart would be an Andy Mark Join the Revolution t-shirt. Mm. Or maybe an Evo shifter. <laughs> Honey, what I got says, you an Evo shifter. <laughs> what says love more than an Evo shifter? Contest. We did. We did have entries for the recognition of your of your non-engineering mentor contest, and I don't think we've decided who the winner is yet. So either we're going to decide that at the end of lunch and we'll announce it, or we'll or we'll decide it by Thursday. Someone just showed me a, a video from Team 708. They have a flat Andy, which is I'm very honored and surprised that someone would do such a thing, but thanks guys. More impressively, much more impressively, we saw a video in uh, an FTC robot that weighs about over 100 pounds. It's Team Inconceivable. Check out FTC Team Inconceivable. They have a release video that just came out this weekend. Like a home-based robot with two tethered robots. They all fold out like a transformer. I'm sure Brett can link it somewhere, somewhere over here. Mm -hmm. Also, I did see a lot of robots driving around this weekend on video. Make sure you weigh down your robot. Make sure you get it to full weight with some kind of a box of bolts or weights or something to make sure that your drivetrain works at full weight on carpet. I think that's a mistake that a lot of teams, a lot of new teams don't do not do. They don't weigh it down, they don't put it on carpet, and they think their driving is fine. Test your complete robot weight on carpet to make sure it drives right. On our team, we gave away a couple candy bars this weekend for breaking breaking robot parts. We're celebrating our breakages, just like just like you should be. Don't we have a contest for that, Andy? We do, we do. <laughs> it's, it's, we gotta get some more entries. Uh, but now's the time when you'll, you'll be breaking things. So take a video of breaking your robot and celebrating the fact that you're learning how do you fix your robot. Thanks, Nathan. First robotics competition, yeah. Facebook page. There's an article about the SAPA extrusion North American first 2017 contest. And I think they're using the, the 500 EX hub in the picture for this contest. So like, have fun this week, be safe, don't get hurt, be smart with your fab and final debug and everything like that. Make, break your robot, but don't break people. That's not part of the contest. Don't, don't break in the people. Be safe and we'll see you on Wednesday. Part of me, since you have your glasses off, wants to make that entire bit blurry. <laughs> <laughs> and then as soon as they go on, it goes back and forth. <laughs>